start the next session of your bsc 4 semester geology about uh, earth dynamics systems earth dynamic system is a part of your unit third so today we start your unit third uh, shall we start to go through my ppt so this is the ppt of your unit third the earth as a dynamic system earth as a dynamic system we study why we study of the earth dynamic system because there are lots of thinking happening inside on the earth आपको जैसे कि आपको पता है कि आपके अर्थ के अंदर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जो भी हैपनिंग या प्रोसेसेस होती हैं वो हमारे इनसाइड और आउटसाइड ऑफ द अर्थ चलती रहती हैं इसी वजह से हम इसको क्या कह रहे हैं दैट्स अ डायनामिक सिस्टम ऑफ आवर अर्थ इन द अदर अगर हम बात करें वन बाय वन वी डिस्कस व्हाट काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोसेस आर ऑपरेटेड या हैपनिंग इनसाइड एंड ऑन द अर्थ इट इज फर्स्ट वन इज इन द Outer core there are electrical current which given rise to earth magnetic field. यानी कि आपका outer core जो part है that outer core जो a part of electric current which is give rise by the earth magnetic field जो कि आपके magnetic field को generate करता है by the electric current. Second point in the mantle there are a convection current powered by heat produced by radioactive decays. और जितने भी आपके मेंटल्स में जो लावा फ्लो कर रहा है या मैग्मा जो फ्लो कर रहा है उस मैग्मा से जो भी रेक्टिव एक्टिविक डीके जनरेट करते हैं कि आपकी हीट प्रोड्यूस करते हैं वो हीट प्रोड्यूस करती है आपकी कन्वेक्शन करंट जिसके कि आपने कन्वेक्शन करंट थ्योरी यू डिस्कस टू ऑलरेडी इन योर फिजिकल जियोलॉजी ऑन द टर्म ऑफ फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर नाउ द थर्ड टॉप पॉइंट इज टेक्टोनिक एक्टिविटी टेक्टोनिक एक्टिविटी इज अड टू जियोलॉजिकल फिनोमिना लाइक द अर्थ को एक वॉल्किनिक एक्टिविटी फॉर्मेशन माउंटेन रेंजेस तो आपका क्या है एक टेक्टोनिक एक्टिविटीज के थ्रू क्या हो रहा है डिफरेंट अर्थ को एक वॉल्किनिक एक्टिविटी फॉर्मेशन तो दीज आर दल्सो द वन मोर एक्टिविटी इन द एज अ टर्म ऑफ अर्थ डायनेमिक सिस्टम नेक्स्ट वन अर्थ हैज अ थिक एटमोस्फियर अब जैसा कि आपको पता है टुमारो वी डिस्कस एट द टाइम ऑफ विंड वी डिस्कस अबाउट अर्थ इज सराउंडेड बाय द सम गैसेज गैसेज इज कॉल्ड द्रिएट द एटमोस्फियर क्रिएट द एटमोस्फियर योर अर्थ सो अर्थ हैज अ थिक एटमोस्फियर विच इज अ वेरी एक्टिव डायनेमिक ड्राइवन बाय द सोलर एनर्जी एंड इज रोटेशन एंड द अर्थ इज रोटेट द टिल ऑफ अर्थ रोटेशन एक्सिस कॉज द वेरिएशन इन द एटमोस्फियर डायनेमिक विद द पीरियड्स इक्वल टू अर्थ ऑर्बिटल पीरियड तो आपका जो एटमोस्फियर डायनेमिक जो पीरियड्स है दैट आर इक्वल टू द अर्थ ऑर्बिटल पीरियड नेक्स्ट टर्म इज वे डिस्कस अर्थ डायनेमिक सिस्टम इंक्लूड द क्या ये अर्थ डायनेमिक सिस्टम इंक्लूड कर रहा है वे डिस्कस इन अर्थ डायनेमिक सिस्टम इंक्लूड द एटमोस्फियर हाइड्रोस्फियर लिथोस्फियर या बायोस्फियर या हम कह सकते हैं एटमोस्फियर द हाइड्रोस्फियर एंड द बायोस्फियर एंड द जियोस्फियर टू ऑल्सो next point we life develop and evolve as a result of the interaction of their system ab in their all the systems se kya interaction se kya ban rahi hai aapki life is developed and evolved hoti ja rahi hai chahe wo human life ho chahe aapki animals life ho ya organism ko life ho ya koi bhi decays process ho so considering the next point the considering the protection of human to alter the planet the future of life on the earth depends on the full understanding of this evolution process or is evolution process ko hi discuss karke hum aage ke means the protection of human life ko discuss kar sakte hain next point earth is a dynamic place and changes large and small occur all around us changes like erosion occurs gradually with other like in earthquake may be occur in suddenly our ability to anticipate these changes and they are effect on vital of maintaining as a way of life so aapke jo bhi earth as a dynamic systems mein places mein kya ho raha hai kuch movements kya hoti hai slow movements hoti hai jaise like erosion weathering or kuch movements aapki ekdam sudden hoti hai ya kuch process sudden hoti hai just like a earthquake in ke hi in changes ko hum effect ko vitals ko maintain karke dekhte hain way of life ko last or uh, the earth system is contain the transformation this way is said to by the dynamic system or jo ye systems hai ye jo different system hai tectonic system ho ya aapka tectonic activities ho gayi ya aapka atmospheric changes ho gaye yani ki jisko ki hum environmental system kehte hain the earth system these the system contain the transformation this way 
to set to be aya the dynamic system of the car now we discuss about the why should we discuss the earth system hum kyu is bare mein discuss kar rahe hain because of that before we delve into the connection between geology health and forensic science we must gain an appreciation of the connection and interaction between the earth's main कंपोनेंट हमें इसके बारे में पहले पता होना चाहिए हम इनकी रिलेशन करने से पहले हमें क्या पता होना चाहिए कनेक्शन क्या कनेक्शन है हमारा अर्थ का मेन कंपोनेंट्स के साथ बोथ मेडिकल जियोलॉजी एंड फॉरेंसिक जियोलॉजी डील्स विद अवर इंटरेक्शन विद द अर्थ प्रोसेस तो ये जो न्यू ब्रांचेस ऑफ जियोलॉजी है मेडिकल जियोलॉजी एंड फॉरेंसिक जियोलॉजी डील्स विद द इंटरेक्शन विद अर्थ सरफेस प्रोसेस है तो ये एक इंटरेक्शन स्टैब्लिश करती है आपकी मेडिकल जियोलॉजी ऑफ फॉरेंसिक साइंस बट इट इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अप्रिशिएट हाउ आर्थ इस प्रोसेस इंटरेक्ट विद ईच अदर और वो प्रोसेस जैसे जियोमॉर्फिक प्रोसेस कैसे एजेंट के साथ इंटरेक्ट करती है और कैसा एक एनवायरमेंट कैसे इंटरेक्ट करता है कैसे उनके बीच का इंटर रिलेशनशिप है दैट्स ईच अदर दैट बाई डूइंग दिस वी कैन मेंटेन द ब्रोड प्रोस्पेक्टिव ऑफ अवर रिलेशनशिप टू द अर्थ वे डिस्कस कर सकते हैं So now, with the Iceland of Earth, about the 4.5 billion years old, geological dynamics internally and externally only planet presently known as to support of a life. As far as far as a life can concern, gold locks of the solar system. It is a closed system. So in your dynamic Earth system, there are two kinds of a systems involved: closed and open system. so first we first we discuss the earth as a closed system closed system is exchange of energy but negligible exchange of mass with surrounding jo aapka closed system hai usme exchange energy ka to exchange ho jayega but wo kya karta hai mass ka exchange apne surrounded ke sath nahi rakhta hai so earth uh, has a four spheres agar hum baat karte hain earth ke environmental system se relation mein the four part of the earth system that must be directly concern environmental geology like your lithosphere biosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere lithosphere is a term as a geosphere the so comprise geosphere is a comprises the solid earth and includes the both earth surface and various layer of the earth interior here the there is a comprise of solid earth is including the both surface of the earth the layer of interior now the atmosphere as you well you know very well about the gaseous envelope that surrounded of the earth and constitute the transition between the surface and the vacuum of space and the hydrosphere including the all water on the earth including surface water and the also the ground water too biosphere the life zone of the earth are including all living organism and all organic matter that has not yet to decompose are there as a four spheres the four spheres is equally connected to each other and make a cycle that's why we call the earth as a dynamic system because of the atmosphere system and your hydrosphere system and the geosphere system is connected to the your biosphere system that's why we call the your earth as a dynamic system jaisa ki aap is screen mein is diagram ko देख रहे हैं जिसमें कि आपका एक बायोस्फीयर इज इंटरेक्ट टू ईच एवरी एटमोस्फियर जियोस्फियर एंड द हाइड्रोस्फियर इज ऑल्सो द जियोस्फियर इज कनेक्ट टू द हाइड्रोस्फियर टू द जियोस्फियर बेसिकली फर्स्ट वन में द सॉलिड पार्ट ऑफ द अर्थ 94 परसेंट ऑफ द अर्थ इज कंपोज ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑक्सीजन एंड द सिलीकॉन कंपाइंड कंबाइंड एज द कंपाउंड ऑफ सिलिका is iron and magnesium interior of the earth is layered both chemicals and mechanical so now you showing the earth layer composition and mechanical characteristic there in the diagram we showing to the part that's a mantle and that is your core and there here is showing the your different layer also the physical characteristic uh, or the lithosphere asthenosphere mesosphere And the outer or inner core, the brittle solid part is a uh, lithosphere, and the solid but near the liquid is a solid. Major is totally a solid. Outer core is a liquid, inner core is a solid. Is also the primary iron and nickel of core is the chemical composition. Agar we understand, metal is primary silica plus iron and magnesium, and the primary silica and plus light metallic mineral. 
So we discuss uh, biosphere interaction with the other uh, system components like atmosphere life process involve many chemical reaction which is either extract or emit gases to the end from the atmosphere photosynthesis consume carbon dioxide and the release of oxygen where the respiration does the opposite and now hydrosphere how to interaction with the other earth system component in biosphere evaporation of water from leaf surface and transfer water to the atmosphere now the geosphere geosphere the geosphere the biosphere is connected to the geosphere through soil mixture of air mineral matter organic matter and water plant activity root growth and organic acid production are also for the mechanical and chemical breakdown of the rock next just how integrated in the earth system james levlock 1979 introduced a somewhat extreme concept called is gaia hypothesis next propose the earth function uh, as a single super organism that the maintain conditions necessary for survival inherent in explanation in is the idea that is the biosphere atmosphere geosphere and hydrosphere are in a delicate balance that is the homeostatic condition is maintained analogous to how process with the human body ensure the temperature blood ph electrochemistry etc are kept in balance for our survival next in an extreme sense the inner working of the cold uh, could be uh, viewed uh, as a study of the uh, physiology of the earth sphere water is the earth blood the atmosphere is the earth lungs and the geosphere is the earth solid tissues and living organism are the earth cell so earth as a water the earth is a blood our atmosphere is a lungs and the geosphere is a earth solid tissue and the living organism is earth cells so but while the earth probably not a stranded being we are live loves in place the gay hypothesis does under underscore the importance of looking at earth process as a interconnected parts of the larger system as a close system earth processes adjust to the disturbances in the system to maintain balance where do human fit in as a components of the biosphere humans are temporary a rip rip tech uh, represent of the matter and energy that flow through the earth system you are what you eat drink and breath human health is to some degree and function of how these flow to the matter energy flow through and interact with the human body in many cases problems of our human health are fundamentally linked to the natural distribution of the material of earth the bottom line consideration on the how process with the earth system interact with the extremely important in the understanding of the real world understanding physical and chemical process of the earth system is important as a understanding biological interlace and stones for understanding biological system all are connected so uh, this are the discussion of uh, our earth dynamic system so basically your earth dynamic system is a interconnection between the atmosphere geosphere hydrosphere and your lithosphere so these are interconnection of between these uh, in elements of uh, environments so that's why we call the earth as a dynamic system due to these lots of processes and lots of systems are interconnected to each other so that's why we call it a earth as a dynamic system in earth dynamic system we discussed now in the next topic your continental drift theory your iceland arc and the sea floor spreadings and all about that so uh, your second uh, unit uh, first two units are finished so on behalf of the first and second unit we uh, create a one online test series about first and second unit and i hope you doing well on that uh, test so we create a uh, one to two days you are for your test series so you can join the test series of first and second unit and hope you well okay thank you and goodbye to all of you